2.4c least common multiple LCM using prime factorization. To find an LCM of two large numbers, the first thing that we want to do is to find the prime factorization of each number. We want to use all the unique factors and we want to assign the highest exponent to each factor. So for example 1, we're just supposed, we need to find the LCM of 24 and 36. First thing that we need to do is find the prime factorization. So we start with our 24 and find the prime factorization. 24 is divisible by 2, which would leave us 12. 12 is divisible by 2, which would leave us 6. 6 is divisible by 2, which would leave us 3. So the prime factorization for that one would be 2 cubed times 3. For 36, well, 36 is divisible by 2, which would leave us 18. 18 is divisible by 2, which would leave us 9. 9 is divisible by 3, which would leave us 3. So our prime factorization here would be 2 squared times 3 squared. Now if we look back at our list, we have the prime factorization for both of our numbers. Now we want to list our unique factors. Our unique factors here would be 2 and 3. And then we're taking the highest exponent for each one of those unique factors. For our, our 2, it would be 3. And for our 3, it would be 2. Those are our highest exponents. So we have 2 cubed and 3 squared. Now we want to multiply those out. So we have 8 times 9. And therefore our LCM would be 72. On example 2, we're finding the LCM of 54 and 90. We'll start with 54. 54 is divisible by 2. That would leave us with 27. 27 is divisible by 3, which would leave us 9. And 9 is divisible by 3, which would leave us 3. So our prime factorization for 54 would be 2 times 3 to the third power. Now let's do 90. 90 is divisible by 2. That would leave us with 45. 45 is divisible by 5. And that would leave us with 9. And 9 is divisible by 3, which would leave us 3. So our prime factorization for 90 would be 2 times 3 squared times 5. Our unique factors would be 2, our 3, and our 5. The highest exponent for our 2 would just be 1. Our highest exponent for our 3 would be 3. Our highest exponent for our 5 would be 1. So that means that we've got 2 to the first power, 3 cubed, and 5 to the first. So we've got 2 times 27 times 5. So we have 54 times 5. 
and that's going to give us 270. So our LCM then for 54 and 90 is going to be 270.